Hello and welcome to another tip of the week. Today I'm going to be talking about the new T4 Allure Inner Sanctum and how Odyssey deal with the Zeta drone. As you can see here we've got the standard setup of a tank, controller, healer and DPS. Upon entering the room the tank should be the first one to get the aggro of the Zeta drone. This allows the rest of the group to settle in their positions so the controller and healer would be ranged and a DPS would be ranged also or a melee DPS would be able to begin doing his damage while the tank has got the aggro of the bat drones and the zeta drone at the same time. It's pretty much standard to keep the zeta drone in the centre of the room at all times. This is sometimes you might have to move him up and down the room depending on circumstances but I'll explain that as we go on in the video. So as you can see here, I'm always I'm making sure that I've always got the aggro of the bat drones and I'm making sure that Zeta drone is always on me. Sometimes, like this mechanic here, spinning motions, he will de-aggro from you and he will go to a teammate and he will begin he will begin damaging him. So what the teammate can do or the group member could do is if the Zeta drone is not in the centre, it could bring the Zeta drone. While the Zeta drone is damaging him and spinning towards him, it could coerce the Zeta drone into the centre so the tank can get the aggro of the Zeta drone once again. While all this action is happening, you're going to be facing another threat in the form of the nano repair units. These nano repair units spawn near the bat seat near the bat sign at the top end of the room and near the door where you enter you could you'll notice these by the red dots that will appear appear on the map and a message on the screen during the fight and her the dps in this video is just going to briefly explain what he does when he encounters these nano repair units so as a damage player your sole focus is to look at that map and see which side they're appearing from um, you break away from DPSing the main boss um, you go with the controller. What you need to look at is which enemy the controller is targeting and stunning and holding back. You don't want to waste each other's time and power by taking down the one he's focusing on. Get the other ones down first and then switch back to that. Um, they spawn at the two sides near the door or near the uh, bat signal so you've really got to be quick on the ball because they, they do get to him really quickly. So just to summarise the tactics when entering the room, the tank should be the first person to get the aggro of the Zeta and the Bat Drones. The Zeta Drone should always be kept in the centre of the room for this one reason. If the Zeta Drone is at the entrance or near the Bat Sign at the top of the room, the Nano Repair Units could spawn on top of him and begin healing him, and they do heal for a lot. So while he's in the centre of the room, the DPS controller and healer can get over to him and stun and DPS him down as quick as possible and then they can return to the centre of the room to focus again on the Zeta drone. If the Zeta drone is on ya and attacking ya make sure that you keep him in the centre of the room so the tank can get aggro of the Zeta drone once again. Just to note the bat drones will sometimes de-aggro so it's also important again to bring them to the centre of the room so the tank can get the aggro. I hope this has helped and I'll be speaking to you again in the future.